Do you love custom GPTs as much as I do? They are one of the best things about ChatGPT and they just got a massive upgrade that I've been waiting for a while. In the next 10 minutes, I'm going to show you how to get even more power from your custom GPTs. I will actually also edit some of my GPTs live so you can see how to get even more power from them. If you haven't built a custom GPT yet, I have a video somewhere here that you can watch on how to build custom GPTs. But right now, we're gonna learn how to get even more power from them. So custom GPTs used to only run on one model, which was the GPT-40 model. Now you can actually decide on which models you want your custom GPTs to run. You can even recommend other users to use a model that you choose. Let's go. So you see your custom GPTs here on the left, but let's click on GPTs. This is where we get to the GPT marketplace, where we can find all the custom GPTs from everybody, from companies, from people, from myself, hopefully from you as well. On the top right, we can click on my GPTs and here's a list of my GPTs. Let me close the sidebar to make this a bit cleaner. Oh, that's really nice little icons now, that's new. Cool, so here we are, here are my custom GPTs. I have this training session follow-up GPT that I really love. I'm going to edit this one. I'm gonna click on edit. As you can see, I have all my instructions. I have everything in here. If you wanna build custom GPTs, don't forget I have another video about how to build custom GPTs, but we have something completely new here, which is awesome, is recommended model. This is really cool. So mine has no recommended model. Users will use any model they prefer. Let's change that. I would like this training session follow-up to have an 03. Here we go and I will update this GPT so that this GPT now has a recommended model as O3. So let's view our GPT. And now, as you can see, my training session follow-up has a recommended model using the creator's recommended model O3, which is here on the top left, as you can see the model. You can also change it per use, meaning that each time you use it, you could select a different model if you wanted to. But as you can see, there's a really nice little label, GPT Creator Recommended. You can switch different models. You can use GPT 4.5 if you want more natural sounding text. But here I want a little bit more strategic stuff. So this is why I'm recommending O3. If you don't know which model to use and why, go to LinkedIn, find AI Operator, my company. We just did an event on this. You can watch the recording. I'll definitely make some more videos about which model to use, when to use them and how to select them. But I think I do have some content around there somewhere on YouTube, on LinkedIn. But comment below if you have any questions. So this is great. We have switched this GPT to now use O3. Let me show you a couple other things while we're here. So let's say that I'm using a GPT for a training session summarizer. This GPT now uses O3. Does it have any recommended? No, I haven't done that yet. So I can also, of course, even if I recommend it, I could switch the model to 4.0. But let's do the same thing. Let's come in here, let's edit this GPT. Let's select a recommended model for this GPT to uh, GPT 4.5, because I want this to sound more natural and content driven. This is not that strategic. So I will update that. That's done. Let's view that GPT. That GPT now has also a recommended model, 4.5. This is incredible, guys, because we've been using GPTs, custom GPTs, and just having one model was not enough. You'd have a lot of hallucinations. You'd have some problems. But now you can use O3, O3 Pro, 4.5, 4.1, whatever model you fancy. This is incredible, right? Here's a quick hack while we're together. Let's say that you started a new chat and you're doing something like, help me plan my next training session. I'm using 4.5 right now. Maybe not the best model for this, but here we go. It's planning this. So I just started a new chat. I used a GPT 4.5 to start planning my next training session, but I wanted to show you a trick. Now I could do at and I can bring a GPT like my video idea generator and say, create a video idea from the above content. So what I'm doing here is I'm able to bring in a GPT to an existing chat thread and have the context of that chat thread feed into the context of this GPT. So this custom GPT can now access the context of this chat, but I'm not gonna be done here, watch. 
4.5 is creating my video idea. This is great. My video idea is now created with the context that we had above, right? So we used 4.5 itself, helped me plan my next training session. And how did it do all this great stuff? The memory feature, right? There's double memory feature, there's the managed memory, and there's the reference chat history memory feature right, which I tackle in another video again, right, so this created an amazing little training, and then I called in a GPT, and I said, create a video idea from the above content, it created the video idea, as you can see, this is the GPT I'm using, but now I'm going to switch this, and I'm going to go at, and I'm going to say video script outliner, outline the script. This is incredible. In one chat, I started with just regular chat GPT with GPT 4.5. I then called in one of my custom GPTs to create a video idea. And then I called in another GPT, which is my video script outliner to be able to create the whole outline of this video. This little hack, a lot of people forget. As you can see, this is super powerful, bringing in multiple GPTs in one chat thread. I call it like having multiple assistants coming into your meeting with ChatGPT. So schedule a time on your calendar to do a task, right? Have multiple custom GPTs ready for marketing, event management, sales, video ideas, whatever, right? If you want to create custom GPTs, I have another video for that. Think about this, have multiple assistants. Imagine that you can hire as many people as you want, build custom GPTs. And then when you're having your meeting with ChatGPT, start your thread and whatever skills you need, you can call them in according to your needs. And let's not forget that when we are now using the GPT, we can suggest a model. If there is no model suggested, you can't see it. And if you want to switch, which model you want to use with your custom GPT, you can select it here by model and you can switch it to O3 Pro or any other model. This makes GPTs 10 times even more efficient. So comment below, how would you use custom GPTs with different models now? Would you update existing ones? Would you build new ones? For me, I'm updating a lot of mine, but I also have now crazy ideas for new custom GPTs because they could be even more powerful with O3 Pro or different models. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, hit the notifications, and please do share it with others. I want to help you all love AI and not fear AI. This is Tim Chucker, the AI operator. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.